I swear to God, Phoebe, if it's another fucking web series, then I could punch you in the face. Well, if you won't do a web series... And I won't. Well, then there's Aladdin in Woking. Is Biggins in it? Yes, but you won't have to share a dressing room. I'll think about it. Julian is one of the finest actors on my books. I always compare him to an old prize greyhound, but the dog tracker's closed and he can't get any work. Julian is very available. So let's talk about the book. So anyway, I'm writing a book about my life on the stage and screen. It's mainly a collection of anecdotes about my life, but in the form of a biography, but written by me. An autobiography, if you will. I got the idea when I was watching a documentary called The Boy Whose Skin Fell Off, about a boy whose skin fell off. And I thought, if he can get on the television for being what is essentially a human snake, then I deserve at least a six-part series with accompanying book. Now, I've spoken to Roy Walker's assistant and he's disputing your account when you went on catchphrase. He admits to masturbating in the loose, but he denies telling you to say what you see. He said it, and he knows he said it. Have you come up with a title yet? I'm thinking... Diana. No. But I too have lived my life like a candle in the wind. And we're practically the same person. I'm a public figure, I'm sexually active, and I'm very good at keeping my weight down. Let's come back to the title. Um, I'd like to address your chapter on Celia Imry. Does she merit a whole chapter? Celia is a goddess, and I shall hear no more about it. I picked Celia up from the floor and wiped the sick from her mouth. Thank you, Julian, she rasped, barely conscious from all the booze she had drunk. Celia was due on stage in ten minutes, and she was literally covered in the contents of her own tummy. I stripped her naked and gave her a quick wet wipe wash. To my surprise, sexagenarian or no, she was completely shaved.